Good afternoon, my little potato chips. How are you doing? We parry from across a shock. How are you all doing this lovely Saturday afternoon and the weekend? Um, I'm doing good. <coughs> Missed Friday's video. Sorry, just things came up. Um, what I'm going to do today is, well, if you're going to see the title, in the title it'll be MVP, Most Valuable Player in the Affordable Cutlery Market. They have, I'm sorry, but they've just stepped up the game. The ordinary Rough Rider range are budget, just excellence, really have got excellence in the budget. Rough Rider Reserve is not budget, in my opinion. It's gone above that now. It's affordable. Absolutely top quality knives for the price that they're going out for. And let me tell you, I'm speaking from a UK knife lover. I pay much more than people in the United States pay for a Rough Rider. A lot more. <clears throat> this recent one was one of their cheaper versions. Um, and I only collect the single bladed ones. I, I I had a look at all the double bladed, triple bladed. I don't like them. They're too big. They're too much. Uh, there's too much space given to every blade. They're just not my cup of tea. They're too fat too heavy now i only i started collecting this one here was the first single blade i then got this one not that long ago and if i can show you this one just blew my mind away this is a stunning piece of work absolutely stunning going off one of the old traditional swayback lives uh so somebody hasn't had to really design this this is a pattern that is free for everybody to have a go at what they've done is made an a, just an incredible, incredible job of this knife. It is beautiful. It's about three and five eighths. Just a stunning knife. Lovely, lovely. Sorry, yeah, yeah. It's about three and five eighths, um, and this one is about four inches closed, and the new one is three and three eighths. So getting down to a right size for this little knife but it's just perfect this is literally just perfect absolute walk and talk beautiful fit and finish right up the center easy nick hole on it absolutely super this one the first one they done off it four inches long as long as i would like them to go because they do make them pretty fat uh, so for a single blade though it's absolutely fine beautiful one-armed razor knife i just love it denim micarta this is in the uh, beige just micarta absolutely stunning again walk and talk absolutely super up the height a little well maybe just a wee bit off but it's not it's never going to be that much absolutely super lovely knives i'm going to take them away because i've already reviewed them and i gave them top of the range review this is the way they come. They come in the lovely tube. You get this little cloth inside it. And then you get a paper wrapped knife. And this is it. This is the Barlow. One of my, well, it is my favorite pattern uh, is the Barlow knife. Because, because it is, because it's just pocket friendly. It's a fantastic knife for pocket and EDC. This will do every task that I would need on a normal day. But this one is just, look at that fat spear. Is that not just flipping gorgeous with this beautiful deep swedge on the top that's on both sides, which they always do, which I love. This is the Rough Rider 017D2 China. It does say, you can see it there. There we go. And on the other side, you've got Rough Rider Reserves inverted and it's got rough rider with the eye typed in below it but how gorgeous is that two ring bolster and this is in stainless steel i think this is a stainless steel bolster um it's brass pin or maybe nickel silver pins and shield absolutely and that lovely micarta yes i wish they would change the colours in my target, like give us a red, give us a purple, do, do anything but not just the same ones but but 
I can't fault it. It's beautiful. I like this color. This is one of my favorite colors. It's got a, a, a lanyard hole here, which, yeah, yeah, people like, people don't like, but this has got D2 steel. This has got fit and finish. Listen to this. Beautiful. It's just stunning. Right up the hay diddle diddle. Just an absolutely beautiful knife. And that crescent uh, nail neck there, it's just beautiful with a matte strike pull. But I, this fat spear can do so much. And this swedge just gives it that little bulldog look. It really does. It gives us that British bulldog look. I love it. One of the nicest spear points I've got. Although I am waiting on a Jack Wolf. But that's a huge higher market. But this is stunning. I can't fault it. The fit and finish, absolutely first class. For a 60 pound knife, I am not going to look for anything more. If I can't see it on a pass around like this, then it doesn't exist. There's not a problem. The, the, the finish is just lovely. It's not absolutely crisply perfect, but you would have to be really, really critical to find fault in anything that this knife has for £60. I think it's fantastic. And I know you pay less for it in, in the States. That doesn't matter. I'm quite happy giving £60 for this knife because it is outstanding. Outstanding. How does it come? Let's get a wee bit of paper here and we'll give it a tickle with a knife and see what it's like. Now, this is just receipt paper. Absolutely. Look at that. Let's get a wee curly key. Can we get one? Nah, just let it go. But that's fine. It'll could do with a strop, yes. But look at that. I mean, it is just beautiful. So Rough Rider always give you a good, if not maybe excellent, you get a good sharpened knife, which is what we should get when you get a, a knife from a shop or anywhere. Honestly, I'm blown away. I'm, I'm actually overexcited about a £60 knife again because they've just done an excellent job. That satin finish is just beautiful. You can see the grind line. Very, very fine. Just beautifully done. Everything about it, the shield, you have that arrow shield. It's just absolutely stunning. Crisp, deep. Look at that. Crisp and deep lines going into your bolsters. Just stunning absolutely stunning I, I just can't believe it you have brass liners I mean there's not a gap at all and that's three knives in a row in these single blade ones that I have got that there hasn't been a gap nothing I just love it I genuinely love it what length is it it is one two three four five six Six and a quarter, say, maybe at a push. But just, just, it's beyond my words. I just love it. I think that fat spear is gorgeous. And it's, the spear point is a, a knife that'll do any task. It's a real all-rounder just for, for an EDC knife. So that is the perfect EDC knife, in my opinion. A lovely barlow, and you've got a big fat, look at that there. That's three quarters of an inch at the thickest part. Isn't that just beautiful? Come on, man. You just get excited with me. <laughs> Here's another knife I think is beautiful, which is a bit cheaper than it. This is about £38. This is the uh, Arthur Wright & Sons, their basic model Barlow. Don't have as big a, um, a bolster on it, but you have a beautiful knife. It's about the same size. Let me just say... Um, it's the tiniest bit better. This is why I think this about three and a half inches would have been really perfect, but this three and three eighths is perfect for a barlow. Nothing wrong with it. It is just perfect. I love, I just love that. Look at the M2 knives. Absolutely beautiful. And I still didn't break £100 yet. Do you know what I mean? Two beautiful knives with two different blade ships. My favourite blade ship, the best working blade ship, in my opinion. But have they any... Look, Rough Rider, I haven't got a Rough Rider Barlow at the minute because all the ones I had had the big R all over it and I just grew to hate it. So I don't have one. I just didn't keep it. But what I have got is Rough Rider, now do the Queen. This was a Queen model. 
And this is one that they've done absolutely right. Line bolsters, fit and finish, absolutely perfect on the back of this. Absolutely perfect. I love this. The bone work, everything about it was great. And this series, I don't think they've kept up with it. I think this last couple of Queen Knives have been very poor, in my opinion. But I love this series. I've got three in this bone, in this configuration. Now, it's a twin bladed. And there you go. It's a little bit smaller. Again, not to be... Doesn't really matter. There isn't a strict size, but it's a little bit smaller. But the cutting size is not much different in any of these knives. Here's a boker. Now we're getting up into the expensive ones. Now we're hitting the ton. Do you know what I mean? And knives. There's a boker. This is lovely. This is my, my carter. Same as this. That's bone. That's wood. This is another beautiful little blade. This was a limited run. This is number... 153 of 325. This is their Expedition. And this is an 01 tool steel. That's just in 440A. That's an 01 tool steel. It's about the same size as the uh, the Queen Knife. But you can see the standout. These two, just at the minute, for me, are standout. Here's one of my favourite knives of all time. The Boy's Knife from GEC. Absolutely stunning knife. About the same size as this. It's just beautiful. It has a spear point. But look at the difference in the thickness. I love this knife. And it's the perfect knife. You know, it's this to me is a perfect EDC knife. But so is this. So is this. Because this blade outshines that as far as the depth of it. And don't forget, these knives only have 1095 carbon steel. This is D2. I mean, that, not that steel makes a difference in a traditional, really. In my, it genuinely really doesn't, because as long as it's easy sharpened, I don't care. These are absolutely fine. But that spear is lovely, and it goes with the sleek lines. This goes with a Barlow, the, the sturdy, rough, take me out, work me to death, I'm good enough for it. And here's my last. Here's a fancy pants one. Here is the uh, Taylor's Eyewitness. This is their Barlow. I love this big fat Barlow. Um, just beautiful uh, blade shape. They're about the same size. These four are all about the same size. These are two smaller ones. And I believe the Rough Riders are the same size as the Queens and the Boker. So there's just a small selection of my Barlows. It's a pattern I am passionate about. A pattern I love. Um, this knife is right up there and I will be carrying this so often so often much more than the other two although I'll bring these back out I, I love these they're they're smashing knives absolutely fantastic but as an everyday EDC knife that's what I want I love a bolster I love I love a barlow in my hand I love the the broader type barlow just fantastic so there we are, an excited Paddy, but I'm rightly excited. Look, do you know something? You don't have to be fancy and come up with a strange shape or, or a new take on a Barlow. There's very few new takes left. There's just copies of the same. But in traditionals, it doesn't matter so much. As long as you're not copying a, 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 a man who's making a blade his shape in his workshop. But old patterns that can be used by anybody. They're every bit as good today as they were back then. Yes, upgrade the steel if you want to, but you don't really need to. 109501 is great. These are all, except for the Rough Riders in a D2. The rest are all in lesser steels, if you want to look at it that way. But are they any lesser knives? No, they're not. That's a beautiful collection I've got. There's one, two, and three over here. Fantastic. And these two working knives, absolutely great. This is just a complete non-threatening knife that's not going to scare anybody. And that's something I have to be responsible for as a knife owner and a knife user. So there you go. I, I don't know where I've gone with this, but I think for £60, I, I, I can't beat that. I, I've, I've never seen anything at £60 as good as that. Never. Never. It's fantastic. Well done, Rough Rider. Just out of the world. Out of this world. The rest of you better hurry up and catch up. Because if Rough Rider would catch on and just make more knives at this size, the three and a half, the three and three quarter, single blades, which is what a lot of traditional people like. Now, 
I have a lot of knives that if I if I know I'm going to do a whole lot of work, I'll take a stockman with me. It gives me three blades. It's going to cover anything I'm going to do in a day. But most of the time, all I'm doing is breaking down boxes, opening up packages. That's what I do. That's what I do. But when I leave the house, I usually have two or three knives on me. So it'll be one of these and another single blade. That's enough. Do you know what I mean? That's enough. And I'll have a small blade on my key ring. So, for me, don't worry so much about the blade steel. I mean, D2 is absolutely great. Wouldn't put the off that at all. This is a modern knife, so I like the D2. There you go. Right, I'm away now. Calm myself down. Have a cup of tea and get this uploaded for you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Just, I'm astounded at how good this knife is. I'll give you one last look over it. Look at that knife. Come on. The Mike Carter's lovely. That brass lanyard hole. Everything you want. They're so smooth. The fit and finish is lovely. Clean in the... In the look at that. It's lovely and clean up the centre of that. It's just Rough Rider flexing. And by gosh, have they flexed. Love this knife. We pads away. Bye-bye now. Take care.